Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in. Come in. Come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Good to have you home. I'd done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. He really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, you just went through a red light. What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? Take it easy. I'm in a rush. All right, this is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con.
Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see ya. Don't let me keep you, sir. I'm sure you have a lot to do. And I have to wait here for another client. What can I do you for, pal? Hey, you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Thanks a lot.
Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas. I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long. We'll tell him in the car. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in a game? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that. Now, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you get closer. <laughs> what are you guys taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Ah, uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? Did you not see that light turn red? Yeah, we heard Alberto and that asshole Luca were taking guys into their family for a fee, but we had no idea they were charging that much. Uh, they're gonna have to answer for their sins soon. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, uh... Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Touching down. I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Talk about a horse's ass! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, no. Really. Uh, Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, uh, astrology. You mean astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. Shut your goddamn pie hole. If you want to oh. use your mouth, you fellas ready to go? No. Yeah, let's go. Hey, get up, Joe. I'm going home. Good night, you whores. Uh, hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah! Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less poos. <laughs> So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, zeech in the showers, huh? <laughs> <sighs> what the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the... What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. In pursuit of a speeding that vehicle. So puked in your car? Roger ah, that. Ah, no, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spent it. We'll figure something out. The worst to figure. All we gotta do is bury the stick. I already got his spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. <sighs> you got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? Yeah, a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ, Eddie! That, that fucking reeks! Oh, hey, it's his car. Yeah, but that smell, plus the other smell. The only way it could get worse now is if he craps himself.
All right, we're here. <clears throat> Rito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. <clears throat> been in here ready uh, just a couple days you're gonna have to get him out of there fetal oh, it's just great I can't handle the smell some fucking welcome home this is hey mother hey hey here's a hole right here dump him in Finally, done. <sighs> okay, now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff for the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any oh, help here. Whatever. Hey, fellas, how about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to this go. This wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but it's nice out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one, big time. Leave Eddie's car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. 
I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore. Come on. We'll you had enough, Eddie. Girls. You're going to so bed. Get to Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. Fuck. Hey, Vito, rise and shine. Jesus. <laughs> Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. And stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down. Jesus Christ. Who the hell was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid you slipped down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. Some night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Why? You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, very in a stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. But, uh, everything between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a lot better, I promise. I sure as hell hope so. What's the deal? Simple. We just gotta go to a couple of places and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cutter to take. Piece of cake. Wait a minute. You seem to remember getting thrown in a clink for a piece of cake just like this. Don't worry. I've done this before. First stop, Riverside. If you say so. Trust me. You're gonna thank me later. We take care of our customers. These guys here buying bulk from us. Come with me. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Hi, one carton of reds. Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. 
Bingo. Here it is. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a cotton of blues. One cotton of blues, Vito. Yeah, that's the one. Here it is. What the fuck? Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues as usual? I think I'll take the whites this time. Get that, Vito? Let's go. Caught in the whites. Bingo. Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough here. Mark. He works for Eddie, too. <laughs> In his dreams. Kid's not even 18 yet. He does jobs for me. Drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster, though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, the kid's got you for a role model. He's in for a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, wise guy? He reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in the can since I met you. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shit in your coffee this morning? It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of those someday, would you? the red lights What did I tell you? It's going like butter today. All right, this almost makes up for last night. Almost. Come on, what's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slam. All right, all right. Listen, if the next few hours are anything like the last few hours, all's forgiven. There's the veto I know. All right, we'll be there in a second.
carton of blues, if you please. Give me a carton of blues. Yeah, that's the one. Here it is, sir. You're welcome. Come again. Bye. I'll take a box of reds. Cotton of reds, Vito. Bingo. Yeah. Selling, Mac. You're buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fuck over ten cartons, and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there, and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf, and it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hawking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys? I think it's time for a fire sale. Shit. Go! Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now? Fuck. Who do I gotta say? That's what I got. Come on, hop in that car and let's go. All right, let's get one of these fucks and teach them a lesson. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any faster. Check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth and call him. It's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greasers came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening, and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay. Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though, so it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right, sure, Eddie. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. All right, we gotta meet Steve in front of the crazy horse. Good news is he's gonna help us out. Bad news is Eddie wants his money back. All too grand. Shit! You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? I don't know. We'll 
we'll see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Let's go. Oh, Eddie was fucking pissed on the phone. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick $2,000 worth of shit out of them. I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek, and Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie? We all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Artie? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, Man, uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay, why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here. Then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What'd you Shut say up, today? kid. I'm talking here. So like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Let's leave him a little present. Vito, Marty, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them in. <laughs> My pleasure, Steve. Foundry. Get in, boys. We'll meet you two at the main gate. See you there. Hey, how'd you get in here? Follow the fucking yellow brick road. <laughs> Next. Ha, <laughs> nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out! <sighs> Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns! Let them have it! Please, I'm gonna try and flank them. Yeah, bring it on, dick cheese! 
Some for me, asshole. Take him out. Damn, I'm good. Now you bastard. I'm going in. How about this, asshole? Go Man, go, 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 go. Way to go, Vito. Let's go, Vito! me, asshole.
over my back. I got something for you, you bastard. I won't want to get on your bad side. I amaze myself. I'm going in. Stay sharp, Vito. Hey, Joe, don't tell Man, my mother about this. you're a terrible fucking shot. You okay? That asshole shot me! Oh, fuck! Listen, this got way out of hand. Eddie's not gonna be too happy. Eddie'll be fine. What are we gonna do? Just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody. No more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joy, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. Shit, where are we gonna get the two G's for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar.
pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Copy that. So? Is the money. Well, that's a fucking relief. Stupid fucking junkies. Now they know their place. Good work, boys. Here's your cat. Thanks, Eddie. So, you need anything else from us today, or is that it? I got something I gotta take care of. No, 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 that's all for today. I'll call you if I need anything. <laughs>